Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul and first impressions type video for you. This one is just on one brand. I thought I'd mix things up a bit and do hauls and reviews and trials just on one brand and mix things up a bit. I've got an hourglass one on some of their new releases coming up in a couple of weeks as well. I'm really excited to show you that. But today we are focusing on By Terry. So I picked up their Terribly Don's Lease Concealer and Foundation, which are both really highly recommended by beauty industry type people and bloggers as well. So I thought since they're such cult products I give them a try and first impressions and see if they are worth the hype and worth the money. So of course I'm going to kick things off by using the By Terry Terribly Don's Lease Foundation. I haven't even got this out of the box yet. This is how good I've been with keeping this like pristine. So this is what the packaging looks like. I went by some swatches online and got the shade 7.5 which is Honey Glow. I'm hoping this is going to be a good match. Cross your fingers for me. So judging by the back of my hand this seems to be a pretty good match. I'm going to dot this on my face and blend it in with my Real Techniques uh, blending sponge. I use this when testing out all new foundations just because I feel like this is my preferred way of applying foundation and I feel like always using the same applicator to test out foundations just gives them all a fair test. So I always try and use them as clean as I can as well so there's no other product interfering. This is dripping down the back of my hand so I'm going to get on with this. So it seems to be a pretty perfect colour match for my skin at the moment which is amazing. I will actually link the blog that I used to colour match myself below because I found that it was really really helpful and it obviously worked out pretty well. I'm just doing my forehead and it seems to be covering up the blemishes I had on there so well. I'm hoping you guys can see the same thing that I'm seeing on camera. So I went in with a second layer so I think I've done around one and a half pumps all over my face to get just a little bit more coverage. I do really like the way that my skin looks. My blemishes aren't completely covered so this isn't like a heavy coverage foundation. I would say this is medium at best and judging by what other people have said I thought this would be more of a high uh, coverage foundation. So for the price versus the coverage I'm not so sure that it's worth the money but I do really like the sheen that it's given to my skin. This isn't like a dewy foundation, but it's not matte either. It's really natural. It gives my skin a lovely luminous glow. And I do really like that. I'm just not 100% sure that it is worth the money that I spent on it because this foundation is like ridiculously pricey. I feel like the Dior Forever Foundation, the Chanel um, Le Beige Foundation, even the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, I feel like those are very, very similar. The Dior Forever is probably more matte, but Chanel Le Beige and Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, even Makeup Forever HD, I would say that they are very similar to this in the kind of sheen that they give and some of them are a little bit more high coverage and they're not as expensive at all. However, I wouldn't say this is a bad foundation and I would definitely use this on a daily basis. I think the finish is lovely. I'll be interested to see how it wears. So I will put wear time and everything like that in the description box for you. Obviously what is in this video is just kind of my first impressions, not a full review. So I can update you guys if you guys want. If you want a blog post, let me know. But so far, nice foundation. It's probably not the world's best foundation like I don't think it's my holy grail or anything but the longer it's sitting on my skin I feel like it is setting and it does look better the more that I look at it. I don't want to go on too much and make this video super lengthy but the one thing I would say about this in terms of the shades although I have a perfect match in shade 7.5 is that I think after 7 or 8 there is a huge jump in shades so I feel like there could be a bit of an issue in shade matching. So next we have the concealer to match. This is the By Terry Terribly Don's Lease Concealer and I have the shade for medium peach. In terms of packaging, this is probably the prettiest concealer packaging I have ever owned. I do like the fact that you can see into it. I'm gonna give this a try under my eyes and I'm also gonna see how it works on spots as well. Also apologies if my mirror moves over onto camera or oh, this is huge, but it's like the perfect um, compact for doing my makeup in when I'm doing videos. If anyone's wondering what it is, it's the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze. It's the world's most ginormous bronzer. Anyway, moving on. Just popping a bit of this under my eyes. I feel like this is going to be so perfect for under eye concealing. I don't know whether a little bit goes a long way, so I could have just applied way, way too much, but we'll see. I feel like this shade might work quite well all over my face, so that would be really good if it did because this concealer is obviously hella expensive. And again, just taking the Real Techniques blending sponge and bopping that all over my face. I don't feel like it's covered the scar on my cheek amazingly well. I mean, it's not an easy scar to cover, but I feel like my NARS Creamy Concealer is a bit more concealy than this. It does give a lovely glow though, like my chin, that chin highlight. 
I feel like for concealing scarring on my face I could do with a darker shade and in a good concealer range I would expect to be maybe shade two or three. I don't feel like it's giving that much coverage but I do love the glow that it's giving. I feel like it's done a nice job of brightening my under eye. It is super brightening then. I feel like it's given a really gorgeous luminous look to my under eye area and has really lifted it. I'm going to go in with some more and see how this layers up. This time round I'm going to try and cover my scar with my finger. Still not there but it hasn't gone cakey and that is the thing that I'm quite liking about this concealer is it is just the most beautiful consistency. I feel like this would be amazing on a no makeup makeup day where you're wearing a very light tinted moisturiser but you want a little bit of coverage but you want a really lovely luminous look. I feel like the second layer has made a little bit of a difference to the scarring on my forehead. It's definitely not overly visible right now like on camera. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I can't see the scarring on my forehead. I feel like in terms of my makeup preferences, I wouldn't want to have to build this up. I would want that kind of coverage instantly with one layer. But it is kind of nice to have the option to build up if you want to. I know some people don't like really heavy coverage concealers. Okay, so second time around I pulled the concealer down onto my cheeks and I've just blended that out and I think that my skin now looks amazing. I do really like the combination of the two, however I'm pretty sure the combination of the two comes to around about £100, which is insane. However, I have to take into account that I am severely dehydrated today and normally a foundation would really accentuate the tiny little, like I have dehydration lines on my forehead whenever I don't drink enough I get little kind of wrinkles on my forehead um, and there are none right now which usually foundation just accentuates that so I'm feeling like the consistency of this foundation really does lend itself to perfecting the skin and filling in which I do like I feel like my under eyes though they are looking a little bit liney which I don't love next we are moving on to the by Terry sun designer palette and I've been planning on doing this video and testing out the foundation and concealer. Ever since I was doing three videos a week back in April, I've been planning this video and I'm so happy that I waited because now I can add this into the first impressions. And this is honestly one of the most beautiful palettes I have ever seen. So it comes in this deep purpley velvet pouch, which is so beautiful. And the palette on the outside actually looks like this. This is incredible. It reminds me of a chocolate bar. It actually makes me hungry looking at it. And the inside looks like this. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? I love the fact that you get three pinky shades here so you can either swirl them all together or you can pick them out one by one. Kind of the same with the bronzer as well. If you are a little bit more fair, you can go for the lighter shade, but me, I would just swirl them all together. And you also get a humongous mirror with it as well. This is just absolutely stunning. Also bank breakingly expensive but hey! So I think I'm going to start off with bronzer and I'm going to be using my giant fluffy Bare Minerals brush and just sweeping that in the product. Oh, Tapping off the excess you get a lot of product that comes off with that and then I'm just going to blend that along up my cheekbones, up my temple and down onto my neck as well. The colour of this is pretty much my dream bronzer colour. Oh my gosh. It's so pigmented as well. I think part of the reason that I am loving this palette so much is mostly due to this really warm bronzy shade right at the top here or at the bottom if I was holding this the right way up. I need something with a little bit more red in it and this is just absolutely perfect. For me, I would say this is worth the money because I get bronzer and blush in one. There's so much bronzer in here and the bronzer is perfect for my skin tone. But I think depending on your skin tone, what you prefer in a bronzer, this could be one of those take it or leave it palettes. And for full disclosure, because I know this is a deal breaker for some, this does have a tiny bit of shimmer running through it. I don't even know if it's shimmer. I can see flecks of glitter. It doesn't seem to be translating onto the skin. So on my skin it looks more matte with a bit of a sheen, so I wouldn't let it put you off too much, but definitely just give it a swatch in store. So I'm going to be stepping away from the bronzer for a bit, and we're going to be moving on to blusher. I'm going to be using my NARS Yachio Kabuki brush, and I think I'm going to run my brush through these two shades here and use a little bit of the kind of very very bright pink shade at the bottom uh, just for a pop of colour on the cheeks. I'm just dusting the first two colours over my cheeks and almost up my cheekbone a little bit. This is just how I like to apply bronzer, blusher even. So I swirled my brush into all three colours this time and I'm just adding that to my cheeks 
I may have really gone overboard this time, whoops. And I'm just blending that out and trying to make that look a little bit more natural with my big Bare Minerals fluffy brush. Okay, so that's what the blush palette looks like on my cheeks. It's super pretty, it's very corally, very, very shimmery, but I think that looks really gorgeous. And it's blended really beautifully with the bronzy colors as well. And out of everything, I would say this is my number one recommendation for purchasing from the three things I've shown in this video, mostly because it not only has blush and bronzer in the palette, but because I feel like you could also use this bottom bronzing shade here as a blush, depending on your skin tone, because it has so much of a red running through it, I think it would actually make a really gorgeous blush color. I'll show you a little swatch of it on the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see that. I just think on more fair skin tones, that would make a gorgeous blush color. So for just makeup lovers and makeup artists, I think this is a lovely palette and it's so so this was expensive, but I would say for me that I think it's worth the money because I just instantly know that I'm going to love this and use this on a daily basis. So for me, I think that one is a definite recommendation from me. However, the foundation and concealer, I'm not so sure. So I can't say I'm fully on the love train with these yet, I will let you know, but I do think these are two very good products. As to whether they're worth the money, I don't think that they are because I think you can get just as good products for less money. However, they are gorgeous products and if you have the money to spend and are really interested in them, then I would definitely recommend picking up samples and giving them a try first, but definitely look into them because they are gorgeous products. So that is it for my little by Terry haul and first impressions. I really hope you guys like this video. I hope you're looking forward to another installment of this, but on a different brand. Also, please do let me know if there are any other products that you would love to see me haul and do a first impression or full review on. Let me know in the comments as well. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one and you're all having the best day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.